Hello and welcome back to the Berg's Dip Reviews channel. I do realize it has been quite a while since I have posted really anything. Uh, so I am going to do a channel news uh, New Year's update video. So let's first pack some Grizzly Wintergreen. And then we'll just go through what's been going on and kind of what I have planned, if I have anything planned, really, um, for the next few weeks. So anyway, um, between the holidays and work and everything else, I quite frankly just haven't gotten around to getting on here. And uh, I really don't have a whole ton of things on hand to review anyway. Uh, there is a remaining Oliver Twist, the Wintergreen, I believe, that I have sitting here. There is some new product from Back Off that they sent me. Uh, that I've got to get reviewed, and other than that, I really don't have much uh, on hand anyway. Um, so, what is left that I could review had I have access to it? Um, as far as dip goes, really not much. Um, there is third tier budget products, um, Cougar, Decade, which decade is going to be the same as Klondike Derringer, as far as I'm concerned, or close enough that I have not, at this time, felt the need to go order it in. Um, Husky Fine Cut Wintergreen, if still made, it's likely not still made. Kayak Pouches, which um, I have never seen. I've never, I don't even know if I know that anybody has ever found them. And quite frankly, with the can design slash rebranding over there at Swisher, I don't know if they are still made. And then Klondike's fine cut varieties. Very exciting, I know. And Redwood, which quite frankly also may not still be made. So as far as dip goes, it's pretty much been covered. Um... Cougar is probably a dying out brand. Um, if I can find somebody that can find it, I would certainly entertain doing reviews on it. Decade, uh, like I said, it's 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 like a it's like another uh, brand name of of Derringer, basically, and only available in whatever select market it's available in. Um, so again, and uh, you know, all the rest of that, well, the Klondike fine cut, but all the rest of that is possibly not made anyway. So then we go over to the chew side, um, big mountain apple and peach, which I think are still made, but possibly not black mountain, which also fell under the former Wind Creek Tobacco Company that now National slash Turning Point Brands owns. Uh, I've never seen Black Mountain, just seen it in pictures. There is a variety of plug twist that I haven't gotten my hands on. Um, most of that I will probably need a source for because it's not going to be able to be ordered. And including uh with the twist not limited to but i have a number of rc owens that i have never tried um and then i think there are three different pound bags of stokers that uh remain i don't know if i'll be able to get any of those locally either to be honest with you i think it's tequila sunrise um Tennessee original, which I should be able to get. I was just hoping I could get a smaller size of it. And Tennessee moonshine. Um, so that that's really it. I've done all the other stokers at some point in the last four years. 
and um you know then there's other things there's other american market dry snuffs that quite frankly i'm not going to be able to find in the northeast here um there is uh you know plentiful european dry snuffs if i decide to go that route but at the moment that wasn't really something i was considering there's plenty of herbal or alternative dips that i could do it's just a matter of something do i want to continuously get into that um they they are not something that i particularly enjoy so that's what's really holding me back there um for the most part i would probably order them in pay a ridiculous amount for ordering them in and then turn around and use them for the review and probably not much else unless i got desperate so that's that's the problem with those it, it's 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 there it's an option i just don't see it as something that i would enjoy doing all that much considering how many brands are actually out there um but it is uh, it is on the table as an option um and then we get into other things there's four there's floor if i could talk today there are four <laughs> remaining flavors of drift Drift is going through some sort of a rebrand um, at the moment, so I don't know what's going to go on with that. It may get to the point where it is more available than it is now. Right now, it is it is lacking in availability compared to the other nicotine pouches. There is one flavor of On that I have not done. It is the original, which I assume is flavorless. Um which i would i would try given the opportunity there are three zin that i haven't done they are relatively new i believe it is citrus smooth and chill and i do not believe they are available in my area at the moment then there's the other nicotine products that have popped up on the internet. There's two flavors of makla which i'm not overly excited about to be honest with you considering the the last experience or no i think there's only one left because i did one and then i did two more i think there's only one left um there are other flavors of pixatine toothpicks there are all kinds of lozenges and crap popping up um but other than that pretty much covered it uh i mean i could get into european snooze i could i could go in a number of different directions i just haven't decided what i want to do at this time um there are also a number of topic videos that i could do to, to basically extend the life of this channel um something that i will probably get back into is doing revisits i i stayed away from this for a while because i covered a lot of the top tier stuff but i didn't cover all of it um I didn't really have a set schedule with that or anything, so be back in a second. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I never really had a set schedule with the revisits. Um, however, even some of the non-premium stuff that I do have access to, I could start getting back into because for the most part, a lot of that stuff was reviewed 2015, 2016, etc. Um, it's just it's so much time has elapsed since I've taken a look at it that it's probably worth taking another look at. Um, one thing that people have been asking about lately as a topic video is a revisit of the age increase to 21. Uh, I realize a lot of people are, are populating that old video, and that video was done at a time when it was just kind of starting to slowly creep through the states. Uh, so I could do an update on what I think about it. I mean, you know, I mean, you probably know what I think about it, but anyway, that, that could be a whole other video. Um... Yes, there's a whole host of foreign product that I could get into. Um, 
funding crossed my mind uh, of setting up a PayPal or similar. I just, I don't know if I want to do it yet. I mean, I have a PayPal, but, and Venmo and all that crap, but I, I don't know. I, I'm not at a point where I absolutely need it. It would help out now that I have no monetization or, or anything coming in. Um, the monetization, as I have touched on before, was... In my mind, you know, the ideal way to go about it because I wasn't bugging anybody for cash out of their pocket. I wasn't offering to sell shit to you. I wasn't, you know, anything like that. It was just passive. It was a couple seconds of an ad and it added up to a nice chunk of change over the years. But that is no longer an option. Uh, so I have no, you know alternative means to uh, do this. However, I, d I hesitate to ask at this time because as you can see, I have not exactly uh, made videos lately anyway, so it's not really a financial issue. It was more of a time issue, but it, 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 it's in my head. I don't know what I'm going to do about it, so just thought I would touch on it here. My last concern is you know, while the longevity of this channel, based on the products that I that are left, is going to have to be rearranged anyway in order to stay on here, but I have other concerns, and it has crossed my mind a couple of times. Um, what if this community is basically not permitted to exist anymore at some time on YouTube? Um, I, I, I just trying to take a realistic approach to things and there's all kinds of arguments of why they should or shouldn't or whatever. It's just what, what is the future going to hold? Um, yes, I think there's a lot of, of YouTube, Google's push to, you know, run the site the way they want to, but I think there's also definite pushback, and not a lot of people are talking about this, but with, you know, stuff from the FDA coming at them. I'm sure there is, because, you know, with age increases and with the limited amount of marketing that the companies can do themselves and have to have age-restricted websites and they have to do this and that, um, you know, the, they probably look at this as like some kind of semi-promotion for them, which is not really the case. It is independent of them completely. Uh, but I could see why the, I could see why people like the FDA would not enjoy this section of YouTube. So it, it's one of those things I, I I envision problems in the future. I just don't know how long off we are on that, or if anything will ever actually impact us. Um, I see it probably starting in the future sometime with a requirement for the videos to be age restricted, and then we just go on a slippery slope downward from there. Um, at which time, unfortunately, if something like that were to happen, I would probably not move anywhere else. It would probably just be the end, as, as unfortunate as that would be. Um, I just see trying to assemble something on, an, on some other website uh, to probably be a failure. Um, only a select number of people would probably go over to it anyway, and then it would be a matter of time until the same thing happened over there. So that, unfortunately, I, you know, I don't want to be Mr. Doom and Gloom here, but I could see that happening at some point. I'm not saying it's going to happen next month or even next year or, or whatever, but I, I have my doubts. Uh, between the two factors at play between what YouTube wants to accomplish for themselves and what the FDA is likely pressuring them into doing. Um, so that is, I guess, the New Year's plans, rather disorganized. But so what can you expect? Um, new as far as new products it's gonna be whatever i can source from whoever i can source it from i don't know what the uh status of the northerner is i guess they have 
ceased shipping overseas. They have ceased shipping to certain states. And as you know, the shipping to the states that it is allowed in is ridiculously expensive. Um, there are, of course, other developments going on at the moment, such as Outlaw Tough Guy and the whole mess that that is, and all of the information that I know about the former Tough Guy that I have been debating whether I want to put out or not. Um, but yeah, there's probably, there's more that meets the eye to that whole mess, and uh, I guess that's as far as I'm going to go for that right now. Um, but if you knew that, you would know why the sudden change of ownership or a likely reason for it. And I have my own theories of why he dropped, why Outlaw made it a non-tobacco product. But that would probably take a whole other video and I don't even know how I want to go about that. Because quite frankly, I... I, I feel that people should know, I just don't know if I want all the negative attention that would go around making that a public topic. Um, so I'm going to figure out how I want to go about that. But um, that is about that for now. Uh, please go ahead and support my good friend, Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, who has been, in my absence, uploading regularly. And... Um, The other regulars, I I have just had a lack of time lately for anything, but the other characters, such as Dirty Pat Walsh, be sure to check him out. Wayside Lee, 83, uh, Snuff Strings, No Bluff Buff, Snooze Freak. Uh, that reminded me, I don't know why Snooze Freak reminded me, probably because for the longest time he was asking about getting can of dips into Germany, but... They are releasing new flavors come sometime this year, so that will be something on the list as well. Um, I have, And now that I've gone off in another direction here, why not continue? I have not heard lately of anything new coming out. Um, doesn't mean it won't, but I, I haven't heard anything developing lately. Um, I'm sure soon enough we will have the influx of seasonal cans from all the usual suspects, Copenhagen, Grizzly, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so I hope everybody enjoyed my rambling here. Um, and I will be back at some point with, first off, it will be the Oliver Twist, and then it will be the new flavors from Back Off that they have provided to me. So... I hope everybody's doing great, and I will see you next time. Take care.